Praise the Lord. Amen. Wow, brothers and sisters, uh, I see many more new faces here. <coughs> just now, we just had a session of, uh, I, I wouldn't say it's teaching, but it's sharing my experiences, how I get involved in the healing ministry and what we need to do. <coughs> but tonight, the song is very appropriate. We want the Lord to show us His glory. Amen. <coughs> Just as in Moses in Exodus 33, 18 says, if your presence goes with us, show us your glory. And we want to thank the Lord for His holy presence with us tonight. Because John 15, verse 5 says, without Him, we can do nothing. Amen. Let's clap our hands to our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Give Him all the glory. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, you know, in healing, uh, faith is very important. I mean, you can read the, the scriptures where Jesus inspires faith. In uh, Matthew 9, 27 to 29, there's two blind men who cry out to Jesus, have mercy on us, they said. And then Jesus asked them, because they are blind, right? They ask. What do you want me to do for you? They said, I want to see. Naturally, Jesus knows that they are blind. Right? Naturally, when a blind man comes to Jesus, he wants to see. But why would Jesus ask this question? And not only that, Jesus says in Matthew 9, 28, Do you believe I can do this for you? Of course, Jesus knows he can, but why he asks this question? <clears throat> he wants to inspire faith in the blind man. That's why from here you see faith is very important. It cannot, and then <clears throat> Jesus says, according to your faith, let it be done to you. According to your faith. Wow, if you think of it, <laughs> why did Jesus say, according to your faith, let it be done to you? So in any instance, uh, we must believe and have faith to receive. We cannot have doubt. <clears throat> doubt and unbelief is the greatest killer where you will not receive anything if you have doubt. <clears throat> the Bible says in James 1 verse 5, it says, if you want wisdom, ask from Him. Ask from God and He will give it to you generously. Without finding fault. Right? He will give it to you. And whoever, the, the verse goes on, verse 6, who, whoever it, who asks, do not doubt in his heart. For a person who doubt is just like a vapor, a wave in the sea, uh, tossed around to and fro. And the next verse is very important. <clears throat> For a person like that, do not expect to receive anything from the Lord. For he is double unstable. Anything he does, he's double-minded unstable. Isn't that very scary, right? Uh, do not expect to receive anything from the Lord. You know? But brothers and sisters, this is very true. Because you must have faith to believe that God can do this miracle for you tonight. I want to ask you, how many of you need a healing touch from the Lord? Can you just raise your hand? Then you come to seek a touch from the Lord. <clears throat> wow, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today is a divine appointment. Uh, with God, there's no accident one. Everything is a divine appointment. Just believe. Today, in the house of the Lord, you receive your miracle. Amen? And, you know, I was in, I and my wife, we were last month, uh, end of last month, no? we were in Kuching, Sarawak. <clears throat> we were in Kuching, Sarawak. In this uh, first Baptist church. And you know, there are many people also who raise their hand to receive uh, sickness, to be healed, you know. <clears throat> but you see, I give them a challenge. Lah, that <clears throat> why do you look at me, you know, to receive the healing? I'm just a servant, correct? I'm just a vessel. Healing comes from 
Our Lord Jesus Christ, He's our Jehovah Rapha. Exodus 15, 26 says, He's the Lord that heals you. Amen? So you need to focus on our Lord Jesus Christ. And you must be fervent and desperate. You cannot doubt in your mind, you know, maybe, oh, tonight, maybe I receive. Maybe I don't receive, you know. Uh, I come back tomorrow. <laughs> no such thing, right? You must expect to receive something from the Lord tonight. Expectation. And then you must have in your heart a declaration. Proclamation that you are going to get it, okay? And you know what happened? There was uh, five of them who came up to testify. Because afterwards, there are so many of you, we are going to do a prayer, right? And then I asked them, for those who receive a touch from the Lord, can you come out and testify? <laughs> so the five of them, uh, my wife took a video. They are very, very young people. White hair, <laughs> 70s, you know. So I said, they, they have great faith uh, to believe. I'm not judging anyone, right? Not judging anyone. But because they are desperate. I <clears throat> got one man, 88 years old. Imagine 88 years old, no? <clears throat> and uh, he's still serving the Lord. He shared in the prison ministry. So he says, uh, <clears throat> seven years ago, <clears throat> he, was, uh, he went to the prison ministry. Someone punched him. Punch him and he just fainted, you know, due to the pain. <clears throat> in the hospital, they check, he has seven stones in his gallbladder. Seven stones. So, that means 88 minus 7, 81 years old. <laughs> and then, uh, he's, he refused to do the operation. Uh. Operation means take out the whole thing. How are you going to remove seven stones, right? He prayed for seven days. Seven days firmly, he prayed. And at the end of the seventh day, all the stones disappeared. Amen? Yeah. You want to clap your hands with Jesus? What I'm telling you is, he prayed. Right? <clears throat> Afterwards, all of us are going to pray. You know, I cannot, you, you cannot rely on anyone's faith, you know. It's your own faith to receive. Correct or not? Right? And then, I was thinking, why is he sharing this testimony <laughs> about seven years ago, the God brother? Confusing, right? He's standing there. He's supposed to heal, telling me seven years ago, right? <clears throat> then he shared. That night on the Saturday night, he was up, that day he was supposed to do to remove the cataract from his eyes. <clears throat> do the operation to remove, uh, you know? <clears throat> but he had cough. He was coughing very badly. <clears throat> and then the, they said he need to postpone postpone the operation. So he decided to come to the church. Right? <clears throat> he said he came and he told the Lord because when you pray, you're crying out to God yourself. <clears throat> Afterwards, you got to pray. Huh? He was crying out to God. I said, all of you cry out to God. He sees your desires of your heart. He sees how much you want it. <clears throat> you see? Your desperation. Right? You, you cannot uh, be half-hearted in things like this, you can't even have heart you want to receive. <clears throat> so he shared. And then, when he opened his eyes, uh, <clears throat> he can see all the words, you know, all the readings, he can see very clearly. Imagine, hallelujah. Let's clap our hands to Jesus Christ. <laughs> right? And I'm sure you want it for yourself too, right? How awesome is it that when you are sitting down there crying out to God and you receive a touch from the Lord. And it's not difficult. The Bible says in Matthew 19, verse 26, even in Mark 10, 27, <coughs> in uh, Luke 18, 27, it says, With man, it is impossible, but not with God. With God, all things are possible. <coughs> so, and what is this faith means about, <coughs> you know, Corrie Ten Boom says, Faith sees the invisible believes in the unbelievable and receives the impossible. Amen? So that's why I say nothing is impossible for God. And also, tonight, we want to show our Lord Jesus Christ how much we wanted it. 
We want to sow because he said in Mark 11, 22, have faith in God. And the verse continues in 22, it says, when you have a faith, you can say to this mountain, be removed and cast to the sea. The mountains are your sicknesses that you're facing. I don't know how long you've been suffering from it, no? God knows, amen? You are going to say to the mountain, it didn't say, you're going to say to the mountain to leave your bodies when we start to pray. Amen? And the thing is that, I want to share with you uh, some testimonies of what the Lord has done. It is so awesome that I and my wife, uh, <coughs> normally we, we are the most shocked person. Uh. <coughs> we were in Australia since uh, Pastor, Pastor shared about Australia. We were in Melbourne. So after this, the service was over. You know, we, we did a healing service. <coughs> and then the pastor said, can you pray for some Sri Lankan refugees in Melbourne? Right? And there's a two-day-old baby that the mother will bring for prayer. So I and my wife were sitting down. Service so over, right? So the mother brought this baby fully covered up, wrapped up in a towel. So I told my wife, I said, dear, two days baby, could it be a dead baby? Possible, right? <coughs> All wrapped up, could be a dead baby. And then she told me, why you don't have faith? Ah? She, she's my faith enhancer. You know? It was a faith enhancer. You know? <clears throat> then I said, no, <clears throat> if it's a dead baby, ah, how man? Why you worry it's not you? Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead after four days. This is only two days. <laughs> it's easy to say. Ah. <laughs> then I told her, dear, if it's a Dead baby, eh? you go and pray. You have faith, ma? <laughs> you go and pray. He said, she told me what? I will go and pray if I'm the speaker. I'm not a speaker. <laughs> I support you from behind. Wallah, eh? support you from behind. But it's very important to have prayer support, eh? you know, and support you from behind. <clears throat> and then the, the, the baby came, actually it's not dead. You know, the mother couldn't uh, give birth, push it, push uh, the baby boy out. So they took the forceps to pull. So there were three holes, you know, on, on his head. Still got fresh blood. The wound, uh, three there. One three fresh blood, so you saw. So I just, ah, thank God, not dead, baby. <laughs> but I shared just now, our duty is just to lay hand and pray. If you're here, uh, that's our job. Lay hand and pray. You leave it to God, right? So then I, I lay my hand and I prayed. Just now in the first session, I shared the importance of the word of God. So I lay my hands, I said, Lord, 2 Corinthians 5.21 says, Lord, that you have been, God has made you who knew no sin to be sin for this baby. And you know, I always paraphrase to that particular person. So when you pray also, you must claim it yourself huh? <clears throat> sin for this baby for him I said you know and then I said Lord he's raised for a day like this so that your glory can be seen in his life <clears throat> that is in uh, John 9 when the disciples asked oh Lord this man blind huh? whose sin is that right if it, John 9 verse 1 itself huh? whose sin the father's sin the parents sin or his sin what did Jesus say no so that the work of God can be seen in his life. Amen? And then the, the, the word in John 9, verse 7, Jesus took some, uh, some mud, uh, placed it on his eyes, the right man, <clears throat> asked him to go and wash in, in the waters of Siloam, you know? <clears throat> and then he washed and he, he can see already, right? So, <clears throat> so I said, Lord, he's born for this day that your glory can be seen in this life. You know? <clears throat> then I just pray. So I just prayed. And then suddenly, there was some wind, you know, between the head and my hand. <clears throat> you know what my wife saw? She told me, she, she, we speak Cantonese, uh, was there. She said, I, I saw the vision, the skin all coming back. 
the three wounds, uh, the skin all coming back, you know. <clears throat> so I said, there's some wind moving around there. <laughs> so we waited. When the, it stopped, I just, in Jesus' name, Amen. Lift up. Uh. Both me and my wife, uh, our jaw dropped. I don't know whether you've seen the movie, The Master. Uh. The Master, uh, the green face mask one. Every time the trumpet come out, his jaw drop. You know why our jaw drop? There is no more wound, you know. The skin all just came back with hair some more, you know. Wow! I tell you, uh, thank God I'm quite strong. Uh. No, I nearly fainted. It's so amazing that, that's why I say, faith sees the invisible, believes in the unbelievable, receives the impossible. What an awesome... Now, yeah, let's clap our hands one more time to our Lord Jesus Christ. And it is... And not only that, uh, the mother born deaf and mute, you know. The mother was born deaf and mute, right? Think about 40s. Late, late 30s at the mom. Born. <clears throat> so, I, uh, <clears throat> I laid my left hand on her right ear. <clears throat> then I pray. You see, we must follow what Jesus did. <clears throat> Jesus used to put his fingers in the, those uh, deaf people's ears, loops, you know, right? I just place it there, I just command it. That, Lord, in the name of Jesus, command her ears to be open. That's it, open. Eardrums restored. Huh? Open in Jesus' name. <clears throat> and cast out the deaf and mute spirit. Because she was also mute. She cannot speak, right? That's it. And then, she can hear. She says she can hear. So I told her, can you, can you hear? Make the sound, yes. How many? And speak. <clears throat> then, say, Jesus, I love you. You see, she can hear already. <clears throat> that means she can hear what I tell her to say. Correct? And she will start slowly saying, Jesus, you know, I love you. And she can speak. Hallelujah. Awesome, isn't it? Not only the Lord. Isn't that awesome? And not only the Lord restore her baby's wound, you know, and restore her death and milk spirit, cast her out. And then we went back again uh, a few months later. You know what happened? She practically brought the whole village of refugees uh, to the service. <laughs> yeah, and, and she was pointing, pointing, you know, Wow, she became the evangelist, you know. In John chapter 5, right? When the woman, uh, the, the well there, take the water, you know, she went back, Jesus gave a word of knowledge upon her, that's not your husband, that's the sixth husband, or not this, another husband. <clears throat> she went back and brought the whole village, correct? This lady brought the whole refugee camp over for the service, amen. So you see, when God touches you, it's not just for you to keep. <clears throat> you must proclaim. There's a proclamation there, you know, to testify His goodness. It's in the Bible. If you look at Mark chapter 5, when Jesus went over uh, to, to deliver one man, one man only, correct? Who, were, who lived in the tombs, right? <clears throat> he delivered him and that man filled with legion of demons, uh, was delivered. He wanted to follow Jesus on the boat. <clears throat> what did Jesus say? Because Jesus knew that this testimony is going to make a big impact in the community. Correct? And he told the man to go. And the man go to the whole of Decapolis, right, to share. To share the goodness of God and lead many lost souls into the kingdom of God. Amen. So you are supposed to declare his goodness, his testimony. And also, you need to keep your healing. <clears throat> How, what I mean by keep your healing? Uh, a lot of people, do you realize a person can receive a healing touch? Yeah? Then later on, they lose the healing. How come it's like that? I want to share you one testimony. <clears throat> there was one 91 years old lady. Uh, uh, it's a gospel hall. They don't speak in Tang, uh, Gospel Hall in, in KL. 91 years old lady, totally blind. Blind, you know. 
a friend that I know, the god uh, daughter is 75 years old, 70 plus. Uh, so, told me I want to bring my godmother to come for prayer. I said, what's wrong with her? <laughs> the service is in FGA. FGA uh, KL. Uh. <clears throat> what's wrong with her? She's blind. I said, how old is she? Oh, must be very old. You're already 70. Uh. She's 91. 91 years old, blind. Okay? You know? <clears throat> then she came for the service. She came. You know, I'm still human. Uh. That's why I said, look, look to Jesus. Don't look to me. Uh. <laughs> look to our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh. <clears throat> She came for prayer. You imagine she came, she was the first person that everybody come, right? So I was thinking, 91 years old, totally blind. Then I go and pray for simple case first. Lah. Back eight or what, lah. come back to you later. It's 91 years old, blind, what do you expect? 91 years old, ma. <clears throat> no, it's a degeneration or what, the, of the generative. So I go and pray for some man, you know. Then, she was following and then I cannot escape. I was stuck here. <laughs> stuck here. So, like I said, our job is to pray, right? He didn't leave it to God, so I prayed. I declare, I share the now Mark 9, uh, Matthew 9, 27 and 29, you know. I keep on saying, oh, Sister, do you believe that the Lord will use me uh, to do this for you, that you receive your sight? I just quote it differently, you know. <coughs> that means the Lord used me. I think do me. If you don't get healed, go talk to the Lord. Uh. <laughs> you still believe. Huh? You believe, say amen. This case is uh, very peculiar. She said, yeah, amen. I believe, amen. Then I pray some more, still not happy. Uh. Sister, when after the prayer, you can open your eyes and you will see. Do you believe? Say amen. <laughs> amen, amen. I believe, I believe. Then one more time, after, I pray very long, you know. <laughs> you know I, I was very stressed. Uh, seriously, pray. I pray. My mind, uh, 91 years old, how can? Uh, cannot be. Uh, I pray. Then I pray one time, I ask her again, do, do you believe? You know, I, I believe. Uh, amen. Uh, amen. I think she's frustrated with me already, you know. <laughs> then I said, okay. Uh, my hand was on her eyes. Uh, don't know. They're not let go. <laughs> Keep on. Because I said, when I said, open your eyes and see, you will see. Do you believe? Wow, oh, she's so frustrated. Really. So I got no choice. I was so long with the hand on her eyes. You know. <laughs> okay, yeah, sister, huh? ready, yeah? ready. <laughs> open your eyes and see. In Jesus' name. So myself, you see, open. You see, look here, look there. Oh, yeah, I can see you. Oh, I can see you. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Let's have hands with Jesus Christ. Because I, I'm very real, I'll tell you what happened, you know. And, uh, wow, is, isn't that awesome? Huh? So God don't look at you whether you're old or whether you're young. You know, it's her desperation, you know. And, uh, but one thing, let me tell you, then she came another round for another healing service with the, I was with the senior, senior adults, uh, we call it in uh, Glad Tidings, PJ, my, my home church. She came, you know. <clears throat> so I was shocked. I was saying, what happened? Uh? She can see already, right? <clears throat> oh, she came. She said what? Yeah, I can see, but I cannot see far. You know, near, like near, I can see you. Wow, very near. Oh, like I can see you. Five feet like that, oh, no problem. Then, then why you come today? You can see. No, I want, I want to see there. I want to read the word. The ark there. Uh. I, I cannot see there. Wow. Oh. I want to, I, want to I, I saw a lot, can I see clearly? I want to sing, I want to worship the Lord. You see, her declaration. Correct? I want to see. Oh, one more time, stress. So far, five feet. Maybe see nearer a bit, can I, sister? No need, slowly, step by step. <laughs> and then, just paid for her. This time, uh, she always has said, I will see when I open my eyes. No need me to pray so long. Uh. Oh, pray. She immediately opened her eyes. Wow, she can sing. She read every word. Hallelujah. Let's praise our Lord. Let's give glory to our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> so it doesn't mean whether you're old or you're young. All you need is faith to believe uh, that the Lord will touch you tonight. That's all you need. One touch you need from the Lord and you receive your miracle. Amen? So I can stand here and share with you so many testimonies, you know, that 
another one man, uh, this pastor from Grace Assembly <coughs> in uh, Klang, uh, Grace Assembly. So he asked me to go and pray for one young man. <coughs> the time he was 21 or 22. Uh. Mishael, Mishael. 21. Uh. <coughs> you know what happened to this man? He's a university student. The robbers robbed him. Cracked his head, you know. The skull practically cracked, you know. <coughs> cracked him lying on the, on the road, you uh. <clears throat> For many hours, nobody bother. Nobody actually bothered about him lying down there bleeding, you know, like that. Nobody bothered. You just imagine. And so the robbers took his laptop, took his money there, and then <clears throat> some good Samaritan called up the police. The, the ambulance came and took him. You see, <clears throat> and I think for 13 hours or so, he was in the general hospital care. Then a mom came. But they did the first scan. Brain dead. What did you, you Crack so long, ah, uh, it's all dark here. Eh? The, the, the brain uh, is white color, supposing, and then you can see darkness coming in. Uh, that means it's brain dead, really, right? <clears throat> so they took him to Hospital Sungai Bulo, another hospital there, because the GH got no facilities at all. And in fact, the doctors don't want to do anything. To them, actually, it's already brain dead. <clears throat> what else can you do, right? But the mom, being a Christian, Ask the doctor, then it happened that the, the, the Indian doctor is also a Christian. <coughs> you know, sometimes you know, God arranged, huh? <coughs> but the doctor also doubt a bit, lah, you know. He said, but there's still hope, huh? okay. <coughs> Did the operation, everything. Then when I went and prayed for him, huh? you see, uh, God is showing me a lot of things. Huh? Every healing miracle, the Lord is showing me. My father died of a, a stroke and a heart attack, huh? but he didn't die immediately. Same thing, the x-ray show brain dead. The doctor told me to let him go, you know. Don't keep him alive. <coughs> he, we sustained him for one and a half years, you know. But he's, he's brain dead. So he's just there, blur looking at you. <coughs> so I know, when I read, see the x-ray, I know brain dead is no hope. Man. There's no miracle. Lah. There's no miracle. That's like computer. Huh? The CPU gone already, you cannot see the screen. <laughs> right, you know? huh? The CPU is already gone. Man. And then, <coughs> so I went and prayed. But like I said, our job is to pray. Correct? But you must make yourself available. So I went and just pray. So the mother was crying. Then that day, 50 people were there. All the relatives from far. From Ipoh, lah, everywhere came, you know. So this Milan came, why? To attend his funeral. <laughs> to attend his funeral. Was, you know, all came, the relatives. Lah. So came, all. Oh, then the mom, Sister Mary, her name, came. So I had to pray. Oh, she's crying all this. You know. So I, I, I just pray. Uh, I job to pray. <clears throat> I pray for a Lord's mercy. Lord have compassion on him. This prayer is also quite long. Uh, this is how case sometimes very long. You know. <clears throat> I pray quite long. Everything, every Bible promise of healing, I claim it for him already. <clears throat> After prayer, because the mom is there crying. Uh, so I pray a short prayer. In the name of Jesus, I declare by your stripes, he's healed. Okay, amen. Ciao. <laughs> you know, I was there crying, <laughs> brother, help crying. So I prayed, I really prayed because I, I really felt for him. Such a young man, bright future, right? <clears throat> then I said, I said, sister, don't cry. I don't know why I say this. Uh, actually, it's not me, you know. Sister, don't cry. Jesus is going to give your son a new brain. Yeah. Wow, you're a very strong fit, uh, you <laughs> <laughs> When I said that, uh, she's going to give your son a new brain. She was so happy, I, I closed my mouth. Uh. <laughs> How can a person brain dead get a new brain? And my father, because all these things, you see, the Lord is teaching me, you know. My father brain dead also. Like that. I said, really, I. <laughs> then I told my wife, <clears throat> I said, dear, I don't know what happened. Uh. Then she said, yeah, it's not impossible, but actually, you shouldn't say it, you know. <laughs> In other way, <clears throat> it's, it's not me. Is the unction of the Holy Spirit. That is not me. Okay? And then, there was the, the next day, I went back to the hospital <coughs> because uh, his lungs failed. You know, brain dead. Uh, lungs failed, you know? <coughs> lungs failed. Doctors want to pull off everything. You know, it's a, gen, it's a government hospital. So I said, I went and said, doctor, doctor, can you give us one day? We will pray, right? If tomorrow the lungs fail, what then no choice to pull out all the plug. And then I said, now my life is okay. The Lord gave him a new brain, you know? But 
Maybe not here. We have perfect healing. <laughs> so I prayed. <clears throat> you know what happened? <clears throat> the next day, uh, the lungs work, you know. Brain dead, lungs work. Huh? Isn't that amazing? <clears throat> then, but he got fever. When your brain dead, this is a situation, anything also you die on. Uh. <laughs> you know? the, the bacteria infected and then he got fever, you know, the brain. <clears throat> so I went to the doctor again. I said, doctor, uh, give us another day, lah. We pray. If tomorrow, the, the bacteria there, then no choice, oh, because government hospital, lah, the ICU bed is very precious to them, you know. So I claim the word. Why I share with the word? <clears throat> you know, in Matthew eight fourteen, Jesus went to Peter mother in law's house. Correct or not? So the mother in law was having fever, right? And Jesus. Lay hands, commanded, and the fever left. So I just claimed the word. So I just said, according to your word, in Matthew 8, 14, 15, when Lord, you took away the fever. Lord, you take away the fever from Brother Mishael. You know, take away the fever. In Jesus' name, Amen. It left. Next day, mother called me again. He said, Brother Eddie, the fever is gone. <coughs> Amen. Huh? Fever is gone. Yeah, one more time. <coughs> Lord Jesus Christ. It's so awesome, this testimony. Then, but his brain pressure is too high. Our brain pressure, that time I don't know what is the number, you no know, brain pressure. So, it, it, it will burst, lah, brain pressure, right? So, I went to the, the doctor and then, uh, I, I, yeah, I, was in, <coughs> I was in Philippines. I was ministering in the church, right? The mom called me. Very high. So I said, can I talk to the doctor <coughs> on the phone only, you know? <coughs> so then I said, before I say, yeah, she said, you don't have to ask me for another day. This time he sure die. He cannot make it. It's too high, the brain pressure. You imagine? Because the doctors, they look at it specifically. Yeah, like he cannot make it really. No one can make it, you know? Don't worry, don't worry. Get <laughs> so I asked the doctor, uh, what is, how high is over 30? Uh, 30 plus already, too high, cannot. <coughs> so, uh, what, what number? What number I asked uh, will be normal. But then she said, I, uh, be, below 20. Uh. Because I don't know, and then she thinks it's too high, below 20, right? <coughs> so, pray. Went to the ICU, put a phone name on the Mishael and pray. So I said, uh, in the name of Jesus, Command the brain pressure to come down huh, to eight. I don't know what. I don't know what number. <laughs> right eh? 20 is how. You know, you can save nine or so below 20, right? But 20 so, this doctor also never tell me. Uh. I was confused, you know. So I was thinking, come down to wait, stop again. What number to say? Uh? <laughs> and then to 17. In Jesus' name, Amen. Come out already, say already. Then leave it. You know what happened the next day? The mother called me. Very excited at that. But some, don't know whether, I thought really this time, the flow go already. You know? Where she speak? She said, brother, Eddie, brother, Eddie. Like, oh, say, hey, slowly, slowly, what happened? So, you, you know, huh? you know. I said, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> so I'm going to calm her down a bit, you know. <clears throat> the brain pressure is exactly 17. Wow! Then only I believe. Uh, the two times, uh, the lungs work, the fever gone, uh, I still doubt God. You know? I said, nah, just coincidence. Uh. It's just a coincidence. You know? Exactly 17. <clears throat> and you know what I heard? I was in Philippines on the phone. <clears throat> the doctor now saying, ask your priest. Because she's a, she's a sick doctor. Uh, not, 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 not S-I-C-K. Sick, sick. Uh. As I can, not as I seek, uh. sick. Uh, sing. Uh. Ask your priest to pray for 12 <laughs> on the phone. <laughs> she, uh, ask your priest, pray 12, 12. <laughs> but this time, uh, I know really God is doing a miracle. The first two times, I doubt. No. And then, wow, very confident. In the name of Jesus, pray so, so loud. You know. In the name of Jesus, the brain pressure come up to 12 tomorrow. Wow. Tomorrow, brothers and sisters, exactly 12. Hallelujah. Awesome. This man 
He survived. God give. You see, the, the first X-ray in the General Hospital, dark. Uh, they took another <coughs> two more X-rays, you know, in the hospital somewhere below. It is darker and darker, which is getting worse, all right? Then I, I went back. I went back to go and see. You know, Sister Mary went to the hospital. <coughs> Suddenly, uh, the sun is no more in the ICU. So, she, of course, you're shocked, right? No? The sun is no more in the ICU bed, you know, empty. And so she thought something happened. When I see a doctor crying, why? Why you, you know, we can pray. Huh? You know, you see it, how, <laughs> all this thing. And then the doctor told her, she said, Mary, don't cry. You know, he, he's not in a, in a mock or a mortuary. <laughs> you know, we transfer him to the high, de H, uh, high dependency ward, you know. Right? Took out the fourth x-ray uh, and showed the mother. Look at this. Everything here, like turning white, those black patches turning white. It's like he, God is giving your God, no, because he's a sick man. It's like your God giving him a new brain. Amen. Wow. You know, isn't that awesome? <coughs> and then she said, I want to see your priest. Sir. <laughs> I want to see your priest. So I went, I went there. So she said, Can I speak to you privately? Oh, Sister Mary left. Then said, Okay. She said, What? No. Your God uh, has turned the whole ICU upside down. <laughs> no one can come out of this alive. Uh. 1,000 people going and then 1,000 people will end up in the mortuary. You know? No one can come out alive. Your God, uh, you see some more, your God has done a miracle. Oh, wow. And then, uh, yes, gave you all the glory. It's so awesome. Uh. And then I said, something happened to me, you know. I, I said, doctor, there's no such thing as your God, my God. There's only one God. Uh. Huh? And that's our Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus has given a miracle. You've seen it yourself, you know. I believe today <coughs> I'm here because of you. Because Jesus loves you. I said, right? Would you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then I, I shared why Jesus come to die on the cross for us. You know, I was from a Taoist, a Buddhist background last time, right? Always, every year, I'll come to this... Uh, Pilgrimage to visit the Sleeping Buddha, la, the Kelloxi, la, and don't know, my grandfather bring me to, don't know what, Kongsi. Ah. Kongsi got a lot of those idols on, you know. All these things. <clears throat> so you see, ah, I explained to her why. I shared my testimony, she was listening, and I said, why you need a saviour. <clears throat> we are all sinners, correct? No? no one here can say we have not sinned, not, never even say a white lie, you know. Even you scold someone, right? All of us are sinners because of Adam and Eve, correct? And so we need a savior to take away our sin. Like in the temple days, we do a lot of sacrifices, we burn a lot of stuff, all this. You still cannot give it of this consciousness in your conscience, you know? And the devil always reminds you one. Last time you did this and did that, things like that. He's tormenting us, you know? Accusation. When Satan accuses you, uh, it makes you weak. Yeah? It makes you weak. You, 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 um, you become prayerlessness. Uh, you, you become like... It's so, it's so damaging even to your relationship with God. Right? When he accuses you. you know? <clears throat> so I told her, that's why Jesus is the only God. Whoever believes in him will have eternal life. I shared this word, John 3.16. It says very clearly, For God not only loved the world, He so loved the world that He gave His one only begotten Son. So whoever believes in Him will have eternal life. <clears throat> like I believe, all of us, we are in Christ. We, we have this hope. We know where we go. Last time as a temple owner, we have seven temples by the way. you know, And then we are very scared of the, the word death one. Very, very superstitious, pantang and all this. <coughs> Chinese New Year, cannot take the broom to sweep. La. And then, you know what I did? I, I know the, the Mandarin orange is gold, right? Oh, boxes of Mandarin orange roll inside the house. Rolling gold inside the house. Wow, la, we. Oh, go, go, go in. La. You know, all these things, you know. You, you, you get what I mean? Huh? But all this is not real. 
Like even we go, ah yeah, those days, those 40 years there, but it's not wasted. My 40 years in temples there, and it's not wasted. Because I know what is happening. Satan, in John 8 verse 44, <clears throat> he is a father of lies. He's lying to us, deceiving us. And those days, I pray to many, many religions, God's one. Hinduism, I go everywhere. Many countries, I go to seek God. Because I don't believe that the Buddha, the Kuan Yin, is, is the highest God already. Why I don't believe? Because who's the one who gives us the sun, you know, <clears throat> can turn like that, right? The rain, it's not them, right? And uh, the air that I breathe, you think rationally. Who gives the air for us to breathe? There must be a creator. And so I was seeking, I was going to many countries to bring back the idol. I thought God is an idol. Because you know, Chinese are all idols, right? To bring it back. Oh, this is the number one God, the true God. Don't go any temple. Come to my temple. <laughs> bring back. <clears throat> but the Bible says very clearly in Jeremiah 29, you know, in 29, 11, he says, God says, for I know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. <clears throat> to give you hope and a future. Amen? That's 29, 11. And just believe. Lord have plans for all of you. And verse 12 says what? Jeremiah 29, 12. 12 says, when you seek me. <clears throat> when you seek. No, when, no, you can come. No, you can come, pray to me. And call upon me and I will listen to you. He says, Jeremiah 29, 13 says, when you seek me with all your heart, you will find me. So, there is a seeking here. So, I was going around looking for number one God. Actually, I was seeking. <clears throat> and then he came. He revealed himself to me. Huh? In, in a vision, I heard his voice. You know, I saw visions and all this. I smelled demons in my house. You know, then <clears throat> I accepted Jesus Christ. You know, so, I ideas now. Are you still with me? Ah? Where did I stop? It was a testimony, right? Oh, not here. Ah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, and then the, I, I shared about all this. Ah. I shared to the doctor why we need a savior. Brothers and sisters, we, we really need a savior. Jesus Christ, he comes to take away all our sins. Those days, ah, when Christian people tell me, a lot of Christian friends, I always try to convert them. To go to the temple one, you know, money in my business. Right? More people come, more money. Right? I, I used to break coconuts, you know. We also have coconuts. I have a Hindu god. I also break coconuts and all this. So every coconut, $3. Sometimes I say, oh, then sometimes $5. Hey, why is it so expensive? Very, nowadays the supply not so much. Yeah. So <laughs> huh? if you don't do it now, maybe next week it will be more. Things like that happening. <clears throat> so uh, you just imagine. Uh, and the doctor, all the while she was crying, tears flowing up from her eyes. You know, she's in charge of the ICU. She has seen so many people dying there, you know. And we give all praise and glory to God. She gave her life to Jesus. She accepted Jesus Christ, yes. Hallelujah. <coughs> so, brothers and sisters, before we want to pray, we want to go into prayer, I want to ask, I'm not sure, how many of you uh, haven't heard about Jesus, haven't made him the Lord of your life? Can you just raise your hand? Let me see. How many of you haven't received Jesus Christ yet? Okay, you have a sister there. Yeah, raise your hand. Nothing to be one, two. <coughs> no, man, raise your hand. You, you, you know why? Raise your hand. Let me see. Let me see. How many of you here? Anyone else? Uh, the sister here. You haven't received, haven't understood. Huh? You also. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, back. So, wow. <coughs> I think about 10 of you. Uh. <coughs> Sister, don't be afraid. You're here is because God loves you. Amen. Really, one. All of you, you're here. You raise your, for those who raise your hand, uh, it's God's divine appointment for you to be here. You know why? Because this is about your afterlife. You know, we all think, uh, many people think, uh, especially our Chinese believer, Taoist, uh, we think that when we die, uh, we go down to hell, right? You know, walk down there, uh, thinking that there's a place where the dead people go. Uh, 
we have car to drive, right? Oh, we sit aeroplane. That's why you see the children burn aeroplane, all this, huh? And uh, this year they burn the OCBC bank, the richest bank, you know. Burn the OCBC bank, all right? You know? So, this is a lie. You got to believe me. 40 years, age of 11. For 40 years, I've been involved. We, we also have temple where we, my auntie, uh, called the dead spirit one. Manmaya, Manmaya, called the dead spirit. Uh, sure, we, we, also, we also have, you know. And all these things uh, is a lie. It's not real. Those are familiar spirits, you know. When you call them, because we are Hakka, 100 days, whoever passed away got to ask, you know. So then, <clears throat> every time my auntie, uh, when the people are there, I tell you, she make tons of money. Uh. Because the whole family come on, no. Huh? I want to ask ma, how the father going, the brother all asking, you know, sister also asking, tons of money. Oh, she'll come up. Ah, why you call me, come up? <laughs> so difficult to come up. <laughs> and of course, my father cried. Lah. That we were young. Oh, crying. All the things you burn, ah, the robbers, the thieves took away. <laughs> now I only got the clothes that I'm wearing only, you know. All the money, whatever money I have, I give to the guards so they can come up, you know. Wow, see. So everybody cry. Lah. Because the voice ah, sounds like him, no. But not 100% like him. Ah. Just like recently, many years ago, ah, looks like me, but not like, it's not me. <laughs> wow, you're all laughing, you know who. Eh? Huh? Things like that. So, you know, and then uh, those uh, fu, ah, very little, ni. 270, you know? So then, then we burn. Then no more already, ah. My auntie, ah. Oh, oh, tired. Oh, hey, auntie. Then, must burn some more. Very hard to call. Call your father or what to come up, you know? <coughs> then, five times already, how much, ah? Five times 270, a thousand over, right? Then we will think. Then we will say, don't, don't, you're a regular customer. Don't think of the money, ah. Next time can pay, one. Oh, burn, burn some more. Then after that, the, sis <coughs> the sister will ask all this. This is not real. These are familiar spirit. Everywhere we have those spirits, one, you see. <clears throat> so they know, they, they, they imitate the voice, you see. Don't believe in all this. Uh. This is a lie. If I tell you <clears throat> about my experience, I'm telling you. So today you're here, <clears throat> the 10 of you are here, is to hear this good news that Jesus take away. He died for you on the cross. You know, He's not an ordinary person, He's God, you know who give up and come down to die on the cross and his blood shed for you. Very easy to know one. We are Taoists, right? My tongue kai wan sana. Correct or not? Right? Uh, we sacrifice the blood, but nowadays, I think the many people don't do already, right? <clears throat> then you take the blood and we offer to the God, right? Tong kai wan Put a chi hong and then we go and make it chi hong. Correct or not? Put the blood. This is also following the Old Testament. 4,000 years ago, it's also like that. They take the lamb, right? They take the lamb, the blood of the lamb, and, and, and sacrifice. <coughs> and do you know, <coughs> Sam Ji Hyung, the three joystick, why? Why the three joystick? The Trinity, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. <coughs> because when uh, the, the flood came, uh, you know, China. When this Noah, well, Noah's son went over there, so they brought the gospel there, you see. So we are always following the Old Testament. When I really accept Christ, I, I did a study back before the Old Testament. So, brothers and sisters, those who raise your hand, you got to believe uh, you have a place in heaven. <coughs> Hell is not a place where you go you know, for our soul. When a person die, <clears throat> our soul will not die one. God take back the spirit, right? The soul either go to heaven or to hell. You know why this is very important? I want to share with you. <clears throat> when I serve Jesus Christ, I, I know that whoever do not believe in him, <clears throat> the soul, when a person die, the soul goes to hell. I ask the Lord, Lord, my father, he didn't hear the gospel. No, no one shared Jesus with him. Have mercy on him. Even though I know, I ask, you know, have mercy on him. Let, let him go to heaven. But there's no such thing. <clears throat> the Bible says very clearly, 
you know, the, in Luke 16, 16, 19, talk about the Lazarus, uh, Lazarus and then the rich man, right? How Lazarus died and then he went to heaven in the bosom of Abraham and the rich man was down in hell, burning fire, very thirsty. <coughs> Ask Father Abraham, Ask Lazarus deep water and touch his tongue, right? And then ask God to send Lazarus back to tell his five brothers, this place is not a place for, for the soul to be. <coughs> no, do not come here. Like that, you know? <coughs> and what did Abraham say? Cannot. There's a chasm. That we all cannot come down, you all cannot go up. Like that, right? So I asked Jesus, where's my father? You know, you know what happened? The greatest tragedy of a Christian why I mean I say tragedy, you know. We know we are safe. Because we cannot escape death one. Everybody is going to die one day, Corona. But we know where we go. We know we have a place in heaven. And Jesus already tell us, right? We know a place in heaven. <clears throat> so, what is a tragedy? That we know that our loved ones, uh, they didn't believe in Jesus, you know. And when they die, the soul is suffering. Tormented day and night, you know, suffering. So I know my father died way back already, so I asked the Lord. <clears throat> so the Lord revealed to me, I was in a spiritual realm. I was sleeping, suddenly I was like awakened in the spiritual realm. And uh, I saw I was in a very beautiful hotel. <clears throat> I was going down <clears throat> to take a dinner or what, you know. <clears throat> so I was wearing a batik, uh, first round batik. I went down there, I saw long tables, just as the Bible say, The banquet where Jesus received us himself, you know. It's a wedding banquet. La. <clears throat> we, we are the bride, right? So I saw a lot of names there. <clears throat> so I was trying to look for my name. I wanted to go. <clears throat> and then I saw a man in white. I cannot see his face. Very bright. I believe it's Jesus himself, you know. Then he says, <clears throat> oh, you must change. <clears throat> you must change something better to come in, no? <clears throat> so I was thinking, hey, this is bad take, ma. <clears throat> so I went up. I came down again with coat and tie, you know. That's the best already, lah. <laughs> coat and tie, man. See him. He tell me again, no, you cannot come in. You got to change. So I said, this is the best already. What, what more you want me to wear? Huh? You give me, lah. <laughs> <I was, laughs> why don't you give me what to wear? I don't know what to wear. <clears throat> Suddenly, uh, I was in a white robe. Uh. I was in a white robe, you know. So, oh, I was so happy, yeah. Uh. But thank God I didn't go and look for my seat, you know? Right? <laughs> I think back, uh, <coughs> that means I'm up there. Yeah. I still got work to do. Uh, a lot of work to do here, right? On earth. Then suddenly, <coughs> when I want to go, uh, I saw my brother knocking at the glass door. They separated this, you know, knocking there. Oh, I said, I, I want to get in. All of us want to come in. You know? Fire coming. Fire, they cannot come in. Then I told him, you cannot come in. You go back to your room, there's a Bible. You need the key. With the key, you can come in. What is the key? Jesus Christ. And just a simple, just to ask him to come into your heart. And then I saw my father. Immediately, I saw my father. I saw at the back, the fire all coming. So many people all burn, burn. But they burn, huh? and then become like charcoal. Charcoal, then smoke coming out. And then become human form again. Screaming. And then the demons, huh? last time you did this, tormenting him. You are a liar. Wow, this thing, Tomani, then you're screaming. Then keep on burning, you know. Burn already, become him again. Burn again. Wow. And then I said, there's no, no way. <clears throat> I lost pain, there's no way. Then I, then I woke up. I just like, came back and I was sweating. That fire of hell, uh, I experienced it. That was the first time. A few times more, but shit. So you see, you must accept Jesus Christ today. It's a very simple prayer. Do not play a fool with your soul. Actually, I don't do today's healing. I don't know why I'm sharing with you this. Because for maybe for the 10 of you, it's very important. Do not let this moment pass. Because you don't know. If you say you're not ready, suppose a lot of people are like that. You will never be ready, one. <clears throat> because the devil will not let you be ready. Because once you ask Jesus to come into your heart, the Holy Spirit lives in you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. <clears throat> and do you know what's happening? Immediately your name uh, will be translated 
to the book of life, the book in heaven, your name is there. And immediately, in Luke, <coughs> Luke 15 verse 10, you know what happened? All the angels in heaven will be rejoicing for your salvation because you have eternal life. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's clap our hands with Jesus. Everything is about eternal life. Do not worry because Christianity is not a religion. It's never a religion. It is your own relationship with God, with Jesus. You have nothing to lose when you ask Him to come into your heart. You know why? Straight away your place in heaven. And even though when you say, okay, tonight, because I'm, I'm here, I'm stuck, my friends bring me here, right? I got no choice. I say a prayer, I follow you. Lah. They say, pay me. Lah. How can you say what? Ah, how been there, Eddie Young lah, okay lah. What, 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 Kong lah? Yo, yeah, so just like lah. But I tell you, when you say the prayer, whatever you do, you you don't want to read the Bible, you don't want to come to church or whatever. He still won't leave you. And one day, you will realize that you really want to seek him. Many testimonies. All of us here have our own testimony. Why we serve Jesus Christ? Amen. Amen. <laughs> so. Let's uh, close our eyes, all of us. Uh, do not let the, our friends <coughs> close your eyes, bow your head. <coughs> I want you that you raise your hand. You can say a prayer. Follow my prayer. Close your eyes and just pray. Ask Him to come into your heart and let the Holy Spirit touch you. Amen. <coughs> say, Thank you, Lord Jesus for dying on the cross for me. Your precious blood shed for me has given me forgiveness of all my sins. My past, present and future sins are forgiven. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my life to be my Lord and Savior of my soul. Lord Jesus, you are my Lord and my God. Bless me and my family with good health, prosperity, peace, love and joy. Lord Jesus, I thank you for my salvation and eternal life in heaven. I give you praise. I give you thanks. <clears throat> In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's clap our hands with Jesus. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, the ten of you, I believe you have said it in your heart. Right? You have followed the prayer. But don't be anxious. Now, the Holy Spirit lives in you. And you want to know him better, you got to talk to him. Very simple, isn't it? Just speak to him. <clears throat> when you go back home, now's the best time. Ask him to take away all your burdens. Just speak from your heart. Just talk to him. What you want him to do for you, speak to him. And you want to know him more, <clears throat> join your friends to come here, sing songs, worship. You got to read the Bible, right? Then you know him more. Then you know you have this relationship. Amen? But if you don't do it, there'll be a time. Believe me, there'll be a time that you want to seek Him. So any problems, just speak to Him and tell Him. Amen? Hallelujah. Let's clap our hands to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. <clears throat> For those who raised their hands just now, you said the prayer, can you raise your hand? You, when you have followed my prayer, yeah, you have followed one, yeah, two, just now, the one who raised their hand, did you say the prayer? You said the prayer already? One, two, three. Okay, three. Oh, four. The young man also. Praise God. Uh, this side. You said the prayer. Wow, praise the Lord. Five, six, good. Sister, do you say the prayer? You asked her. Five. Do you follow the prayer? Anyone this side? I saw a hand. Anyone here? Praise the Lord. Let's clap our hands for brothers and sisters. And now the five of you, 
You have eternal life. All your sins are forgiven. Amen. Now we want to pray. Hallelujah. We want to pray for the Lord to touch. You know, when we, we see people receive salvation, and we are so glad, so happy. Right? Because now you become our brother and sister. Even closer than our own brother and sisters. You know, right? In the family of God. Huh? So, I want you to just close your eyes, bow your head. We want to pray for your healing. Right? You know, and when you are ready, that you, you know that you have released everything, uh, and then you can come. You can come to the altar. The altar is open. You can come forward. Uh, when you, first thing you sit there, you can come forward. Because we need to pray first. Why? We need to release the unforgiveness and bitterness. <clears throat> All of us here, at one point in our lives, that people have done wrong to us. All right? say bad things about us, maybe in business, cheated our money, things like that. <coughs> things like that happen. <coughs> or, you will be abused, you know. Some of us abused by our parents, grandparents, correct? How many of you have this? You, you have this abuse, you know, right? And so, you, know, you have it there, okay? <coughs> so, you feel that you cannot forgive that person. Or it could be your ex-husband, ex-wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, things like that, you know. That cause you so much pain and hurt, you know. And also, could be disobedience. You know, nowadays, children, uh, when they don't know God, uh, you know why? It's very important. Like, we know, when we accept Jesus Christ, the most important thing is we can pray. We can pray for our family members. We pray for our children. Correct or not? That they will come to know the Lord and they will be obedient. There are many testimonies also for that, right? <clears throat> so sometimes it hurts you that your children did not obey you or some did not even provide. Huh? It's just, yeah, this world is like that, correct? <clears throat> that you cannot forgive. But I want to tell you, you need to release this unforgiveness. <clears throat> you need to release all this bitterness, you know. Then there will be no hindrance. Because the Bible says so. If you do not forgive anyone, our Father in heaven will not forgive you. This is a hindrance not only to healing, in everything. In everything means uh, your work, your business, your career. You know, there, there are sometimes you do business, uh, there, there are also enemies, you know. Your competitors uh, say bad things about you. <clears throat> Snatch all this, you need to release one. It's not only for <clears throat> healing. It's for blessings that all your blessings will come into your life. You know? <clears throat> so I want you to Close your eyes, bow your head. And pray. I will pray. Just close your eyes <coughs> to forgive anyone that's caused you great hurt. <coughs> and after releasing, you tell the Lord <coughs> what you want Him to do for you. You come here to receive a healing touch. Tell Jesus what's wrong with your body. <coughs> place your hand. <coughs> if you cannot see clearly or whatever, place your hand. Your heart problem just place your hand where your body part is experiencing some body pains and aches. Right? If you have back pain, huh? yes, release right now. Tell Jesus what you want Him to do for you. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> Pray. God give us a weapon of prayer. Lord, you have told us in Luke 18, verse 1, to keep on praying and not give up. And you have shared <clears throat> this testimony about a widow seeking justice <clears throat> from this judge who fear no man, fear not God. But even the judge says, he must give justice to this woman lest he will wear him down. And Jesus said, look at what the just says. <clears throat> that man, this just do not fear man, do not fear God. But yet, <clears throat> give her justice. What more? <clears throat> we are children of God. If we cry out to him day and night, will he not give us justice? And Jesus says, 
he will give justice and it will be very fast, speedy. <clears throat> Lord, you know right now, all your sons and daughters come here to your house, Lord, tonight. You know what's wrong with their bodies? You know what's wrong with their circumstances, Lord? Whether it's to receive a healing touch from their sicknesses, <clears throat> whether it's for their family, relationships, for their business, and some seek a direction to know your view for their lives, O oh Lord. So tonight, Lord, help them. Help them to release all unforgiveness and bitterness that anyone who has sinned against them release right now. As they pray, crying out to you, O oh Lord, Release the fire of the Holy Spirit. Fire of the Holy Spirit. Touch them right now. In the name of Jesus, I command any sickness, every disease and sickness in their bodies right now to be binded up. <clears throat> For Lord, your word says in Matthew 18 verse 18, that whatever we bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever we lose on earth will be loosened in heaven. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I bind up any sickness and disease in their bodies right now to believe their bodies. And Lord, I loose them. Loose them from their sicknesses in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, you have said in verse 19, all we need is two person on earth to agree in anything we ask for and we'll receive it from our Father in heaven. So Lord, we pray in agreement right now, Lord, as according to your word in Matthew 18, 18 and 19, Lord, that Lord, they will receive their miracle tonight, O oh Lord. Lord Jesus, release your healing angels. Lord, I prophesy into these spiritual realms in this sanctuary right now that this sanctuary will be under open heavens, O oh Lord. Open heavens just as in Genesis 28, 12, when Jacob saw a ladder reaching up to the top, the throne, and he saw you, Lord Jesus, the Son of God, sitting on the throne. And he saw the angels <clears throat> descending and ascending freely. Lord, tonight, Lord, let this sanctuary be under open heavens and your healing angels, yes, Lord, your warring angels, your prosperity angels, Lord, will descend even, Lord, to touch your children right now, your sons and daughters. And Lord, open up the storehouse in heaven and bring the body parts. Bring new body parts in the name of Jesus, O Lord. Yes, O Lord, to replace all those body parts that have been affected by their sicknesses, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. O Lord, release right now. Touch your children, Lord. They release every unforgiveness and bitterness be released from their lives in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I want to declare, Lord, your promises for them. It's according to your word, Lord, Lord. In Isaiah 53, verse 5, Lord, you will pierce for their transgressions. You will crush for the iniquities, O Lord. And the burden of their peace was upon you, O Lord God. And by your stripes, they are healed in the name of Jesus. By your wounds, they are healed in the name of Jesus, O Lord. So, Lord, touch your children right now. Honor their faith, Lord. You have said to have faith in God. For faith honors God. And God honors faith. Release upon them right now. Touch. Let your presence envelop them, Lord. Let them feel your presence even right now. That they are feeling your touch. That you're holding them, O oh Lord God. See their cries. Hear their cries, O oh Lord Jesus. They look to you. For you, Lord, are Jehovah Rapha. You are the Lord that heals them, Lord. There's no one else except you, O oh Lord. So, Lord, tonight, touch. Touch them. In the name of Jesus. We give you all praise and all the glory. Amen, amen, <coughs> amen. <coughs> Let's clap our hands with Jesus. Why? I want to ask you, 
this round, how many of you felt something that the Lord has touched you? Can you raise your hand? That you feel that you receive a touch from the Lord. Raise your hand high. Don't be shy. <clears throat> raise your hand. Raise your hand. Let me see. Okay. One, two, three. The Lord has touched you and you, you believe that you received your healing. Wow. Uncle also stood up some more. Yes, can stand up and raise your hand. <clears throat> stand up and raise your hand. <laughs> Anyone here? Just, just stand up. Wow, you, you believe you received a miracle, right? One, two. Yes, sister, come. Just, just stand up. Stand up. You receive a touch from the Lord. Anyone else that you can, you can feel? Yes, sister, okay. I want, I want you all to come up and testify. Tell the Lord, sister, you can come first. Come. Just come. All of you come. Yes, don't be shy. The Bible says we must testify for His glory. Sister, come. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Come. Amen. You, you have raised your hand and received a touch. Your sister over there. Come. Yeah. Share with them. See what's your name? Uh, my name is Philomena. Philomena. Yeah. I have a back pain, like something moving always. Then today before I come for prayer house, I pray at home. But when pastor praying, I was, uh, I feel like something moving, touch like that. I have the moving. Wow. My bone. That, Amen. Amen. Now you move. Yeah. How you feel? Uh, I do like this. Some, when oh. I pray, I wow. Like this. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's come our hands to Jesus. Yes, sister. <laughs> Share your name. What's your name? Okay. Um, good evening, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen. Um, my name is Blessing or Esteril. Um, when the pastor was praying, as soon as after the first two minutes, I vomited. What? Yeah, I vomited. I felt the thing had to come out as I couldn't keep it in. So something was pushing it out of my body and I vomited because I, I have uh, one or two ailments and... Um, I feel very much lighter now. Thank God. Thank God. Hallelujah. Come uh, My name is Angela. Um, this is almost two days. I was having a ear drum. Uh, my ear was paining me. So when I came through the worship, I was praying to God, God should help me. I don't know what is the problem. So after the worship, when pastor started uh, sharing the testimony of others, what ha happened to them, then the healing, I was telling God, God, do something now in my life and heal my ear. After the pastor, we pray, then everything, is, I can hear there is no pain anymore. Wow. No more pain. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. All glory be to God. <clears throat> yes, I'll share. Yeah, 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 okay. The Lord prompted me to share. It is not tonight that the healing, it was last year in sub o September, October. I had problem with my knees, um, so painful that sometimes when I go down the steps and all that, it's so difficult. So um, it's something like the kneecap. So what happened when it was, I was still in pain and I was sitting there. That was last year. And the, I could hear the Lord. The Lord said, just go behind anywhere kneel down and praise me and I was obedient, I went there, I kneeled down and I proclaimed healing. Uh, I'm, I want to share because everyone can do it, like what Pastor Eddie said, if you believe, it happens, you proclaim. And what happened was I stood up and I went with my daily routine, it didn't happen on the spot or tomorrow but after a few days it was gone. And now sometimes it does come back, I just proclaim healing, um, glory, glory to him, amen. amen. <clears throat> Anyone else <coughs> going to share? Yes, hallelujah. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Okay, I'm in, uh, now I, last time I, my name, people call me Jacqueline. Uh, now I call my name is Joyce because I have a lot of choice after I received the hearing. Actually, uh, in, uh, one month ago, I, I have, before that, I was very sick for two years. Very, very sick. Until I see a lot of doctor, I see neurology because I have uh, multiple chlorosis. I see the uh, orthopedic. I go and see Chinese uh, acupuncturist. I do the do the facial for two years. I'm stressed. I'm, so I was here. I was actually near now here this area, and God touched me. At that moment, God touched me on the spot. 
merely heal. God is not only heal my physical, uh, physically, also heal my emotion. And I have no more like easily anger anymore, angry. Well, last time I very, I'm very um, uh huh, one, kanchong type one, easy uh temper, easy come out, very easy everything. But now uh, I find that everything is like I have no more this uh God heal me. It's total, it's the total healing. And uh, I tell you just now I was there. I just uh, worship when you pray. I find that the the visit of the Holy Spirit come and fill me again. I really praise a lot. I encourage everyone stand in sit in front. You feel the Holy Spirit. Oh. It's true. Eh? That is the best praise. Amen. Thank you. <coughs> Hallelujah. Let's clap our hands, to Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. I, I want you all, I want to pray for all of you who are sick. You, you just come forward and make a line, you know. Those who want to receive a healing, what's wrong with you? Just come, we will pray. <coughs> Any of you have back pain? Back pain. What's so many back pain? Right? Back pain, you know? Okay, okay. Uh, the back pain can come first. <coughs> back pain, huh? Anyone with back pain? Back pain. Uh. Wow. One side. Knees. Uh. Wow, you felt so many uh, back pain. Uh. Spine problem. Okay. <clears throat> wow, this is amazing. Uh. Brother, back, back pain also you have. On and off back pain. Back pain. Uh. Joint pain. Back pain. Uh, okay, <clears throat> you know, you know, normally, uh, if you have back pain, uh, maybe one of your legs are shorter, shorter than the other one, you know. <clears throat> maybe we get some chairs, uh, let them sit, we will check, uh, see how, yeah. Bring some chairs, let them sit down and no bring the chairs here. Uh, here, 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 bring in. It's not so close, not so close. Uh, further out a bit. Okay. Yeah, bring the chair. Let, let, let y'all sit down. Then we will. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Just sit down. <coughs> bring them chair. Uh. Uh. Sit. sit right in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You back pain, huh? back pain. You sit. You want to? Hallelujah. Yes, just yes, sit, <coughs> sit. Yeah, back pain. Just, just sit, sit, sit. Knee pain. Also sit down. <laughs> Joint pain. Oh, sit down. I need to do your legs one, huh? Hallelujah. Wow, so many of you are. Hey, back, back pain alone. Yeah. Knee pain also okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, who are the workers, uh, volunteers? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> wow. Neat. All sit the day, okay? Well, how, how come so many of us suddenly for me here? Back pain, you know? <laughs> Knee pain. Wow, this is the first time uh, in, in a service. Uh, I see so many. When I call back pain, knee pain, normally around here, that's it, you know? Wow, loud, eh? <clears throat> Okay, now I want you to sit right at the back, your buttock. Right in, uh, right to the back. Don't, don't lean, you know. Just straight like that. Sit the bottom touch. Right in, uh, right in. Never mind. Come on. Let's go. Sit right in. Right in, uh. Right in. Do not lean, uh. Straighten a bit, uh, So that it's hundred percent inside. Okay. Sit right in. Sit right in, uh. Right in. Okay. Sit right in. Okay. Okay. All right in. 
Brother, sister, bring, bring another chair. From there, chair. Bring another chair in front. Bring a chair. Uh. Yeah, yeah, can you help me? Get another lady, uh, another worker. Okay, put your feet. Take out your shoe. Can you bring a chair over and uh, help me to check? Uh? Wow. Sit right in. Uh, right in. Okay. This chair is small. Okay, can you take out your shoe and put your feet there? See if I can only check whether it's short. Never mind, never mind. Nibia also put up. You get here, you know. The socks you take out. Yeah, yeah. Then it's we know. Yeah, yeah you know already. Yeah. Okay. See if I can eat right back. See ya. This, this is a bit. Yeah. yeah. So this is a bit shorter. Okay. Draw me straight. Come, come, come. Yeah, never mind. Hallelujah. Close your eyes. Huh? Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, command the leg to grow. Grow in Jesus' name. Yes. Release. Release right now. Command it. Let's leave in the name of Jesus. Leave the child of God in the name of Jesus. Grow. Yes. Command it to grow in the name of Jesus. How you feel now? Huh? You see? Same line already. Hallelujah. Lift up. You feel it moving? Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's my hands to Jesus. Now you move. Next one. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, this leg shorter. Yeah. Ah, that big one. From young. Ah. Wow. Born like that. Close your eyes, pray. Tell Jesus. Close your eyes, just tell Jesus. Oh, Rashara Basikara Bayan. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we command her left leg to grow. Grow right now in the name of Jesus. Move. Dry bones. Grow. Hallelujah. Grow right now. Oh, Saka Rabaya. Our hands with Jesus Christ. Jesus, stand up first. Yeah, go back. Stand up. Level. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Your leg is center. Your left leg grow. Yep. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, right, right leg really shorter. Lay up your kidney. Huh? Okay, huh? Close your eyes, pray. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, command this right leg to grow.
dry bones. No, come on, to touch your heart. To know your heart. Praise the Lord. To touch your heart Come Lord Surround me Yeah Hallelujah Let's pray He'll grow With your presence Yeah, yeah Come on Come Lord Oh, check it out Amen. Amen. 